works. Okay. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. I'm going to wait for a few people to hop on and confirm that you can actually hear me because I put my AirPods in after I had started the live video. So if you're watching live, please just give me a thumbs up to let me know you can hear me. And in the meantime, I'm going to get, hi, Sonia, can you hear me actually speaking? Because I just popped in my AirPods after I started the video. Um, so I want to make sure that you can hear me. Okay, I'm seeing a thumbs up. Thank you. Um, I always forget to do this. And this morning, I actually set a reminder on my phone at 9.55 to put in my AirPods. <laughs> And of course, I forgot. Okay, let me find this on my computer to make sure everything is working. Good morning, everybody. Hello, friends. Happy Sunday. And you can see me okay. All right, here we go. So um, thank you for joining me. I'm Zara Premji. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Markham, Ontario, Canada. And I have been a demonstrator um, and creative coach for over eight years. And every Sunday morning, and I've lost count of what episode we're on. I think we're on like 19 or 20. Um, and I'll update the description. But I've lost count of how many weeks in a row I've been here doing a paper crafting tutorial with coffee on Sunday mornings. So if you're joining me for the first time, please do comment below so that we can welcome you and thank you so much for joining. And for all of my friends who return week after week, thank you so much for being here. Let's say hi to some friends. Hi, Sonia, Heather. Hello, Barb. Hi, Natalie. Hello, Carol Ann. Hello, Margaret Ann, Janice. Uh, okay, LD Crafted, I think it's Lauren or Laurel, right? Can you confirm for me? I feel like... Oh, I hope I got that right. Either way, thank you so much for joining. I'm happy that you guys are here. I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. It's a long weekend here in Canada. We have Victoria Day um, long weekend and long weekends are always really kind of treasured even though we're home all the time just to have an extra day to not worry about school and work and all the things um, is just definitely a gift. So, and on top of that, we've had some nice weather here in Ontario. So it was like a balmy 31 degrees yesterday. And um, we had a little bit of rain and it's a bit overcast right now, but the forecast is calling for some good uh, weather. Oh, I'm so glad I got it right. Thank you, Laurel. Thanks for being here. Hello, Rita. Thank you for joining. Hello, Liz. Welcome. Bienvenue. If you're French, I'm seeing um, an accent aigu and it looks like your name is French. So I hope I got that right. Um, Thank you for joining. I'm glad that you guys are all here. Good morning, Nicole. Welcome, everyone. Okay, let me tell you what we are going to be doing. And then I'm going to do a little bit of chatter because there are some important um, things that I want to share with you and some like amazing promotions that I just want to make sure everybody is aware of so that if you want to take advantage, you don't run out of time to do so. So we are going to be playing with a one of my most favorite suites in the new catalog. It's called Hand Penned. Is it called Hand Penned Petals? What's the actual suite called? The suite is called Hand Penned. And if you're following along with your annual catalog, you'll find it on page 104 and 105. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I love flowers. I love all the flower stamp sets. I will usually purchase every stamp set that has a flower in it because it's just... It, they just make me happy. I also really like subtles. I love pastels and pinks and things like that. So when this suite came out, I, I kind of felt like it was, it had my name all over it. And actually I got a few messages from other people too saying this has your name all over it. So um, clearly I'm doing my job in making sure that you all know what I love. And um, so anyway, we're going to be playing with that suite today. And I know I call this coffee in a card, but we're actually going to be making two cards. Uh, but I'm going to share with you um, some information about our one of our most amazing promotions called our starter kit deal. Before I do that, um, let me see if there's anyone else that needs to be welcome. So please do continue to comment below, say hello to each other, and uh, just know that I'm super grateful for you guys being here. I have been a paper crafter for eight years. Prior to being introduced to Stampin' Up, I was never, I had never done any card making before. I had dabbled in a bit of scrapbooking, um, but I just found it took way too long for me to complete a layout and I agonized over things and I just wasn't finding the time as a busy mom. So um, Shannon, I'm just talking about my uh, 
how I kind of was dabbled in a bit of scrapbooking. Shannon is our like resident scrapbooker. And um, so anyway, I dabbled in that and then I kind of left it alone because I was trying to keep my tiny humans alive. And then I was introduced to card making and I instantly fell in love. And I'll tell you why. I love it because I've always loved sending and receiving cards. Um, I loved the fact that I could make them quickly. So I didn't need to spend hours and hours um, to be able to complete a project. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know that my style is simple yet pretty. Um, and so I try and share ideas of ways to make really simple cards with a few basic tools um, that you can immediately send to people and bring joy to because especially this year, we all could use a little joy and happy mail. And so that's kind of my purpose for having started stamping, uh, started stamping. And my purpose for coming here every week is really to just provide ideas and inspiration, uh, maybe a little entertainment, um, and for us to just, you know, build being community together. So uh, good morning from PEI. Hello, Danny from New Brunswick. Thank you for joining. And thank you for sharing Rita. And Heather, I saw that you had shared. Hello, Carol, my friend. Hi, Shannon. Okay, are you guys ready to get started? We're going to do some chatting first about our starter kit, and then we're going to get started with some crafting. I'll give you a little sneak peek of what we're going to be making. It's two cards with a very similar layout. Um, one is really just using stamps, ink, and paper, and a few basic tools. And then the other one is a little bit stepped up, and we've introduced the stamp and cut and emboss machine. So I'm going to talk a little bit about those two. So here's the first one, just a really simple layout. Um, and the stamps ink and the pattern paper are doing the heavy lifting on this card. And then this is the one here that's a little bit more stepped up. And I did a little bit of die cutting, um, but I'll explain kind of all of those details. So let's flip the camera down and let's chat a little bit, okay? Look away for one second while I get myself sorted. All right. There we go. And I'll just move the stand closer so everything is in position and straight because I hate when I look back at this stuff and it's all crooked. Okay, that's my name and this is how you could get in touch with me if you have any questions about anything. Um, I do have a host code every month. So what that means is that if you do shop with me and everything that we're going to be using today is available in my online store. If you do shop with me and you use this host code at checkout, you are going to get a free gift from me as well as two tutorial bundles and um, a handmade card in the mail for me. And this is my online store link. And I think that's all I need to share with you about that. So let's talk a little bit about some of our promotions. So I mentioned that if you place an order with me um, in this in the month of May, you will get a tutorial bundle. You'll actually get two tutorial bundles. And what that means is basically you're just going to get lots of project inspiration. The all-star tutorial bundle basically includes 12 video tutorials. So not only do you get um, the PDF with the measurements and supply list and photos, you also will get a video tutorial walking you through step-by-step -step how to complete each of these 12 different projects. Complete by some amazing and talented demonstrators for, from all over the world. So the value of this is $20. You actually get it for free with an order as well as my monthly host code gift, okay? The next thing that I wanna share with you is we have a party or a workshop special where if you, um, it's like a host reward special actually. So if you place an order that's $300 or more, you're actually going to get $60 in free product to add on to your order. Now you don't have to place that order by yourself. You can actually do that with a group of friends. And if together you put um, an order together that's $300 or more, you're actually going to get $30 in additional product plus the 30 you would be entitled to. So $60 in free product to add on. It's a great way to like split free product between friends um, and a great way to get a lot of product for a really good price. Okay, the next thing I want to talk to you about, I'm going to be focusing on this a little bit, is our starter kit promotion. So every month of the year, Stampin' Up! has an amazing deal on our starter kit. And essentially what that means is you can choose $165 in product. You can see it's crossed off here. Normally you can choose $165 in product and you pay only $135 with no tax and no shipping, okay, if you're in Ontario. 
If you uh, if you actually take advantage of our starter kit deal for the month of May, so it ends on May 31st, you actually are going to get to choose $206 worth of product, okay? So you're actually getting another $41 in free product to add to your starter kit, and you only pay $135. Again, no tax and no shipping. In some provinces, I believe that there might be tax, but the, the whole kit ships for free, okay? So it's always free shipping. This is an amazing deal. And I think sometimes people are a little bit confused by the, the name starter kit or what it might entail. Essentially, it's a great deal. And then you're going to get a 20% discount on all of your future purchases and you will join our fun and inviting Stampin community. So let me show you what $206 in product might look like, okay? Because I've put together a basket here. Um, just to show you that this here is $206 in product, plus you also get a free paper pumpkin kit. So this is our all-inclusive subscription box. You also get this for free. You get a box of catalogs, and again, the whole kit ships for free. So I know it's a bit hard to see in this uh, view, but I'm gonna go through some of the things that you might get in your starter kit. So this is just a suggested kit, and this would be really good for somebody who's brand new to paper crafting. So if you've never crafted before, um, or you're just kind of getting started and you wanna build a kit of your essentials, this would be a really, really good bundle for you. And of course you can substitute and pull out anything that you wanna switch out. So I'm gonna move this out of the way, but just so that you can see all of the goodies that are in here, we've got the paper trimmer, we've got patterned paper, we have coordinating cardstock, we've got white cardstock, envelopes, we have a stamp set, we have all of your adhesives, we've got jewels, and in this kit, I've put three different ink pad colors. And again, I've just put this together based on what the, the cards are that I'm making today. I've also included a black ink pad. We've got linen thread, and then we've got all your adhesives, like I said. So there's stamp and seal. We have dimensionals, glue dots, and a clear block. So literally everything that you need to get started with paper crafting is in this basket. And then, of course, like I said, if you feel like you don't necessarily need all of those things, you can certainly substitute. So let me just go through a little bit of what is in this kit, okay? So I listed all of the different products, right? The stamp set, the coordinating patterned paper, the paper trimmer, all of the inks, cardstock, envelopes, um, your all your adhesives, your embellishments, and then the free paper pumpkin kit. So the value of this, that whole bundle of product, if you add in your paper pumpkin kit, your tax, your shipping, works out to about $315, okay? So the value of what I just showed you is $315. For the month of May, you're only going to pay $135 for all of those products, okay? It doesn't matter if you don't want to sell or do uh, Facebook lives or workshops, there's no obligation whatsoever. You're basically just taking advantage of a deal. It's like a Costco membership where you pay up front. And, and in fact, this is better than a Costco membership because you actually get product for what you pay. Um, and then you're going to get a discount. So it's like having, you know, a discount membership or being a VIP shopper. Okay. So if you want more information about that, please let me know. You can send me a private message or you can comment below or send me an email and I'd be more than happy to help answer questions and get you all set up. So now with those products that I have included, let's let's start making some cards, okay? So let's talk first about what is included in the hand penned uh, suite. So you get the hand penned petals stamp set. This is a photopolymer stamp set. It's got 15 stamps and there is a combination of uh, images and greetings. So I've taken a few of them out already to put on my block. Now I want to show you something cool that Stampin' Up! has done. Um, this is new with their stamp sets. So when you actually get your photopolymer stamp set, you'll see that on the insert, there's the, the uh, a print of the images. And you can actually peel them off the acetate sheet that you get them on, and then you can actually stick them right onto your case where the images are. So this helps for two reasons. One is it prevents your stamp set from moving around and all your stamps stay stuck down to the inside of your case. Um, but it also makes sure that you know which stamps you have and which ones might be missing from your case so you know if you need to look for something, okay? So this helps me to keep track of whether or not something is lost. So that's the hand penned petals stamp set. It also coordinates with the uh, penned flowers dies. And this is a die set that includes 14 different dies. 
some of the dyes will cut out the images exactly as you see them, okay? So the images on the front are shown at uh, 90%, so they're a bit smaller, but when you open it up, you'll see that these dyes will actually cut out the images exactly as stamped. Okay, so it would be something like that. So that's, some of these dyes will cut out the images. And then we've got these really beautiful detailed dyes. This one here um, cuts out this beautiful, um, intricate floral arrangement. And I talked last week about the adhesive sheets. So this would be really good to put on adhesive sheets and then you can just peel it off and stick it right on. Then there are these some cute, some of these cute little flowers here. We've got some detailed leaves and then we've got this amazing border dye, okay? So that is a really, really great set of dyes um, that would be used for, you could use for multiple projects, okay? And I love versatility. I love when stamp sets and dyes have versatility to them. Let's talk a little bit about this gorgeous paper because I'm a little in love with it. The hand penned designer series paper, it's a 12 by 12 pack of DSP. And um, let me flip this over because I want you to see both sides. So you can see this gorgeous sort of hand painted watercolored flower look on one side of them and beautiful pastel colors. There's pinks and peaches and blues and then this gorgeous rust tone here. Um, so it's just a really gorgeous uh, pack of paper. And then we've got the ones on the back that are monochromatic okay so there's again beautiful pastel shades you could just imagine if you made a card with a little strip of each of these how beautiful that would look okay so this is the paper pack that coordinates with that suite Janice I know it's definitely my favorite in the new catalog I think I've ordered already like four or five packs okay so let's get started with our stamping I'm gonna have to pull some of the products out of the uh, basket that I have put together because I wanted to just show it to you. Okay, so let's get started. Now this card that I'm gonna be making for you is one that all you need is some cardstock, paper and ink, okay? So we're starting with a Blushing Bride card base and this one measures five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just going to score that or burnish it, I should say, with my bone folder. So just going to make that fold a little crisp here. And then I've got a piece of designer series paper, and this one measures three inches by five and a half inches. So I'm just actually going to be laying that on the front of my card base, okay? So it's actually doing a lot of the heavy lifting on this card, and then I'm just going to do some stamping on here. So let's get started with the stamping. I've already pulled the stamps that I wanted and put them on my clear blocks, okay? So let's do this here. And I'm going to start by taking my black ink and I'm going to ink up this beautiful floral stamp. Okay, so this is an outline stamp and this is this stamp set is a two step stamp set, which means that there are um, images that you can use to fill in the outline with other ink colors. You could also color this in with blends. There's lots of different ways you could do it. So I'm just going to stamp that down. Hopefully, oh, I think I might have messed that up. I sure did. Okay, this is why you stamp before you stick. Because if you make a boo-boo, you can just flip it over and do it again. Okay. So here we go. This time I will not move the stamp. I'm just going to apply some pressure. There we go. So that alone would look beautiful, but of course, because it's a two-step stamp, actually, I'm gonna do my greeting while I have this open. So I've just got a little scrap piece of white cardstock, and I'm gonna just stamp the thanks, okay? Okay. So now I can put my memento ink away. You, if you are anything like me, your memento lid is all kind of mucked up. That would be a good thing to clean because I keep setting it down on my other pieces of cardstock and then it, it inks everything up. So you want to be careful about that. Okay, so let's start filling in the colors. So I've got these floral stamps um, here that are actually going to help me fill in the images. So I'm going to start with my So Saffron ink. And I'm taking this large flower here and I'm going to stamp it off. And what that means is I'm just going to ink that up and I'm going to stamp some of the ink onto my paper here, my scrap paper. And then I'm going to go in with half strength ink. Okay, so it's not really kind of intense yellow. It's just a beautiful 
pale yellow, okay? And then I'm gonna take my Blushing Bride ink. Um, Carol Ann, that's a really good question. Um, I think that the stamp, are you talking about the ink pads or the um, stamp set itself? Because I think the stamp set is for sure orderable. I did see that some of the ink pads are on back order, but I believe we manufacture those um, locally like on site so they don't generally take too long to come back in i could be mistaken but i will double check on that for you if you'd like to know for sure okay so now i'm just taking these smaller floral images and i'm again just doing them in half strength you can see that i am totally off the outline but it's totally okay like it's still going to look really pretty um, and now i'm going to take this smaller double flower and I'm gonna stamp in pool party, again in half strength. So I'm just stamping that off and then laying that down onto the card here. The stamp sets itself. I don't actually believe this one's on back order. If somebody might know and can correct me, but the last time I checked our inventory report, I don't believe that the stamp set was on back order. So, um, and the only time that you can't order things is if they are non-orderable. So even on back order, they are still, you can still put them on an order. And again, our stamp sets are actually manufactured in Utah. And so it's not like they need to wait for them to be imported. So they actually turn around pretty quickly, even when stamp sets are on back order. But I don't think that one is. Okay. So I'm just trimming off the ends of my greeting here with my scissors and then we're kind of ready to assemble. So if I can find the card base, let's start to put this together. So I'm just taking my Stampin' Seal. This is one of my favorite adhesives. I like both our Seal and Seal Plus. Somebody was asking me the other day, what's the difference? So Stampin' Seal is, they're both in a cartridge like this. They're both a double-sided tape runner. I believe that Stampin' Seal Plus is just a little bit more sticky and thick, um, but it still works just as well to put your cards together. Okay, so it really comes down to personal preference. I have both and I just use whatever, <laughs> whatever ends up in my hand when I reach for it. Okay, so now I'm just taking this piece here. Now this I, met, I cut three inches by four and a quarter inches. And then I just took a piece of So Saffron cardstock and it just measures, <coughs> excuse me, an eighth of an inch larger, okay? So I'm just laying that down. So I just have a small um, little perimeter around that card base, okay? Or that card layer is what I should say. Okay, thank you for confirming. The stamp set is in stock the entire suite is on low inventory. And what happens with the low inventory is if there is a particular product in the suite that is um, going to sell out soon, like if it's the paper, for example, or the gems that coordinate with it, then that whole suite will show as low inventory, but the stamp set is available. Thank you for confirming that, my friends. Okay, so I've just put that down like that, and now I'm gonna grab my linen thread which is in my little basket here. And I'm just gonna take the linen thread here. You could use any ribbon or twine that you have on hand. I just love the linen thread with this particular suite. And so I'm just going to trim that like so. And then I'm gonna use my glue dots and just stick that onto my card. So what's everyone up to this weekend? Anyone, if, if you're in Canada, you're celebrating a long weekend. Are you doing anything special? Are people doing any gardening? Or um, yeah, anything else fun? Spring cleaning? I did some weed pulling yesterday. I will admit I am a card maker. I am not a gardener. I mentioned that in a Facebook Live a couple of weeks ago. I do not have a green thumb. And um, I would say that our lawn and garden have been kind of neglected over the last little while. So I was out there with this, that claw. Has, does anyone have one of those standing weed claws? <laughs> I used it for the first time and I think I've had it for six years. Like it's not even funny. But yeah, we've, we've got a 
We've got some work to do with our lawn. I'm just sticking this on with dimensionals, okay? So just, it's sitting over the linen thread here, just so that it peeks behind. This is like one of my favorite things to do with linen thread is to just have it sort of peek out back from the um, rest of the, okay, now where are my rhinestones? Here we go. Um, yeah, I just like it peeking out from behind the greeting. All right, so let's move these out of the way. And we're going to embellish with some jewels. And then we're going to move on to card number two, which is a little bit more stepped up. Okay, so just going to take some of these rhinestones. I'm using my take your pick tool, which is my favorite, favorite tool. Who am I kidding? I have like six favorite tools. <laughs> my stamp and cut and emboss, my paper trimmer, my paper snips. I use them all. Okay, this is card number one. Really simple, I used, I, you can maybe not even tell, but I used actually two different patterns of the paper, but they have similar color schemes in them. So this one just has some slightly larger flowers. These ones are a lot smaller, but that's the card. Tell me what you think, do you guys like that? I'm glad that you like that, Heather. It, the whole suite is so pretty. You can't make an ugly card with this suite. Okay, I'm just gonna tidy up a little bit. And if you have any questions about this, just put them in the comments below or tell me what you think of the card if you like it. Really simple. Again, you saw that all I needed was just my stamps, ink and paper. I did of course use a paper trimmer for this. And in that basket that I showed you first, all of the supplies that you would need for these cards are in there, okay? So if you already have the paper trimmer and you have some of your basic tools and inks, you may wanna step this up a little bit. And, and in, even if you wanted to do the starter kit with, for example, the stamp and cut and emboss machine or the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, you could actually put this whole bundle. So the whole suite is $90.50. And you could add in the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, which is $82, I think, or 81. And then you still have actually another 35 some odd dollars to be able to add in other products, okay? So definitely lots of different ways that you can work with that starter kit the, the starter kit promotion that we have this month okay please please do copy these cards I think somebody had asked me the other day um, what uh, if they could copy a card and I just want to kind of have this be sort of a standing thing if you like the card or you like the layout or you like anything about it please copy it because I for one know exactly what it's like to not have, you know, I don't always consider myself all that creative in terms of being able to come up with ideas. So I look to inspire, I look to other demonstrators or the catalog or Pinterest for inspiration. So please, please copy the card. It's like the ultimate form of flattery for me, okay? All right, so let's move on to card number two. I'll give you a quick sneak peek. This one has more die cutting in it. So there, you would definitely need a die cutting machine. I think the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine would do the job. So you don't need even the big one if you don't have it and you're on a budget um, or even if space is an issue and you just don't have a ton of space to be able to store everything. So I'm using a different colored card base for this. This is one of our new colors, Pale Papaya, and I love it. I love the soft peach. So I'm going to be using this color and I'm going to talk you through a little bit of what I've done with this card that's a bit different. So I'm using a um, scrap piece of white cardstock. And I'm going to do the same thing again, where I will ink up that larger floral stamp. And I'm going to stamp that down. And I'm going to make sure not to put my memento lid on anything else. It really is like a big mess. This is going to be maybe one of my projects this weekend is cleaning the memento lid. Because what happens is when you go to put this down, it sometimes like the edges of it will touch the actual ink pad and then the ink transfers onto the lid. And if you're like me and you put it face down onto your cardstock, you might have some little smudgies that you didn't want there. But then of course you can cover it with embellishments and all is good in the world again. <laughs> okay, so now let's do go back in and we're going to color in. And of course, if you have markers, stamp and blends, anything like that, you can absolutely color them in with that. Um, I am a, I look for quick and easy and um, I'm usually on a, you know, time constraint. So I tend to just do it in the fastest way possible. All right. So I've used the pale papaya again. I'm stamping the ink off 
And I'm going to go in with the So Saffron. I'm just taking off the pink that I had used on the other card. So I'm going to stamp that off again and then do that one here. And then where's my other little flower? So I'm going to take this one and stamp that off. And then stamp that there. And then I'm going to take my Blushing Bride. So I, of course, because I've been stamping for a long time and because I'm a collector and need to have all the things, I, of course, have all the ink colors. So just I, I just want to put it out there that if you don't have these exact colors, you could just use what you have on hand um, to be able to create a similar card. OK, so I'm going to introduce one more color. And that is our mint macaron. And that is just to do the leaves. I feel like I'm frozen. Oh, dear. Can you guys see me on the screen? Is it moving? I, like on my screen, it's totally frozen. Let me see what's happening here. This is not good. Okay, I just refreshed and things are moving again. So <laughs> hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm just using Mint Macaron ink and I'm just going to stamp that over the leaves. Hang on. It's okay on your end. Oh, it was completely frozen on my screen. So I'm glad to hear it's still working. Okay. I um oh I didn't stamp that off. Darn. Okay. Yesterday I met my niece for the first time. So my sister had a baby during this pandemic. She had her second. And um we have just met her over Zoom because obviously we've been in lockdown and it hasn't been safe to connect. Um, but now that they changed, I think effective yesterday. They said that we can gather in groups of up to five outdoors. So my sister brought the baby over and I got to meet baby Mila. So Mila is 10 days old. And there's a name behind that story. I love the name. It's spelled M-I-L-A. And um, not, I think I said there's a name behind that story. What I meant to say is there's a story behind the name. Um, so my sister used to work as a nurse at Sick Kids. And um, when she she was she worked on the renal unit, so she worked, um, you know, with kids that had uh, kidney issues and, and so, yeah, any kind of renal dysfunction and um, or renal issues, I guess I should say. And so she met um, she had a patient that she worked with named Mila and and she, Mila just stole my sister's heart. So my sister just like had such a connection with the family and with Mila and just grew to care so much about her. She cared about all her patients, obviously, but I think she just was um, maybe the lead nurse for Mila. And so she always said that if she had a baby girl, she would name her Mila. So she asked us permission. Because, well, not permission. She just wanted to know if we were OK with it because my daughter is Amelia. And she said, you know, is that too close to Amelia? I was like, oh, gosh, no. Like, even if you wanted to name your daughter Amelia, wouldn't bother me in the least. I, I don't get fussed about stuff like that. So anyway, we got to meet Mila yesterday. And of course, we had to keep our distance and all that. But it was just so nice seeing her and and just being able to meet her. So, um, OK, so now I'm going to show you how you can use the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine to cut this out. So. There are many dies now that will fit through our mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. There are, of course, a few that will not. Um, but I think as a, if you're just kind of starting out with die cutting, then you can, this would definitely suffice. And we have embossing folders that fit through this as well. And then, of course, because if you do buy the starter kit and you have a discount, then later down the road, if you did want to get the stamp and cut and emboss machine, the, the big size one, you could always do that at a discount. So... I, I talk a lot about discounts because I'm, I love saving money and I love saving other people money. So when there's a good deal or there's value here, I want to share that with you because I really, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't help you maximize your value, right? So there's nothing threatening or intimidating about it. You don't have to do anything. It's just a really, really good deal. 
And of course, I would love to have you as part of my community. We call ourselves the Pretty in Pinksters. Oh, Carolyn, what a lovely coincidence. I love that. Mila is a beautiful name. We call my Amelia Meals. I call her Meals. And so now that we have Amila, I feel like it lends itself well to that too. So <laughs> Amelia is excited to have a namesake. Okay. So I talk so much that I probably didn't explain properly what I was doing, but I just die cut this uh, piece here. And then what I wanted to show you for the backdrop of my card, I actually have done the same thing in terms of measurements. So three inches by five and a half for the designer series paper. And then I used a different die set. These are from our scalloped contours dies and I cut out a scalloped background for this, okay? So this is gonna just be the backdrop for it. You could use white cardstock. You could again, just cut that out with a rectangle. Like you could cut out a rectangle is what I meant to say. Um, so there's lots of different ways to modify the card, okay? Yes, Janice, saving money is always good and the two current promotions are awesome ways to save money. I love saving money and I love saving people money. It's like if you had like a, a promo code, for example, um, one of my husband's friends shared with him the other day that Uber Eats had buy one, get one free um on I think it was on entrees at selected restaurants so he shared it with my husband and then someone else shared with me um a coupon code for Adidas because I wanted a new pair of running shoes so um you know with friends and family if we have a coupon for something we'll share it with others and so that's what I'm doing is I just want to share this with my friends because it's a great deal and um there's never any pressure but if if you are if you have a long wish list and you'd like to kind of stock up on some crafting supplies, why pay full price when you can get them at a deal, right? So I am just using lots of dimensionals. I'm going to put a couple more here because this is designer series paper. So the um, weight of it is lighter than regular cardstock, of course. And so I just don't want it to sag anywhere in the middle. Okay, so that's why I put a few extra, I think a total of eight dimensionals on there. So now I'm going to take this piece here, which I have die cut, and I'm going to stick that down onto my card and use some more dimensional. So this has really popped up. If you were going to be mailing this, you might want to eliminate one layer of dimensional. So perhaps then you might want to stick this directly down to your um, scalloped rectangle using uh, stamp and seal. So I'm just going to stick that down like that. And then I'm going to, again, make a bow with my linen thread. And do the same thing. So it's essentially the same layout with just a few added elements and some die cutting. Okay. You can get the look. You can get a similar look with the other layout without using any die cutting as well. Okay. So just going to stick this down. We're almost done, my friends, and then I'm just going to put on my sentiment and then uh, embellish a little bit because sparkle is always good. All right, so I'm just going to stick that down like that again. And then we've got our little greeting here and the dimensionals. What did I want to do? I'm going to put the dimensional right here and have it sit above the bow, above the knot is what I should say, okay? So you don't wanna just, you just don't wanna add too much more weight to it. I'm just pulling these loops a little longer so that you can see them. And then my, I think what I'm gonna do actually is put my dimensional right here and then cover that off like that, okay? There, it's almost done. The last thing I'm going to add is the sparkly gems that are included in this suite. So as I mentioned before, if you wanted to purchase the whole suite, um, it's $90.50 and you would get the paper, you would get the stamp set, the dies, and then you would get these beautiful genial gems. And I'm just going to once again, if I can find my take your pick tool. Yeah, here it is. I'm just going to pull off some of these and add a little bit of sparkle to the card. All right, so that is the finished card. 
Um, Margaret Ann, no, if you are if you are a demonstrator, you cannot order the starter kit, unfortunately. It's a deal that's available for anyone that is not currently a demonstrator. I feel your pain, though, because it's such a good deal. Um, we are all wishing that we could take advantage. Um, I'm going to just show you a little something. So when you cut your designer series paper, if you feel like there's a little, I don't even know if you'll be able to detect this on camera, but the designer series paper is hanging off the edge. Normally I would do nothing about that, but I just want to show you because um, it's just a little tip or a trick. If you just take your scissors and just cut along the card base, you can just even that off, okay? Because sometimes when we go to measure it, we think it's five and a half, but it could just be a little, like a hair longer. Um, and so that's sometimes something that'll happen. The other thing that I want to show you, and I do this once in a while, but it, for those that are maybe watching for the first time or, you know, just as a kind of little reminder to you, um, you can actually decorate your envelope flaps. So I'm just going to take a piece of designer series paper here. I'm going to use this side and I'm going to just cut this down with my paper trimmer to, um, I think it's two and a half inches. I should measure because that would be a shame if it was too short. So I'm just measuring my envelope flap. Yep, two and a half will be perfect. So I'm going to cut my designer series paper to two and a half. Okay. And I'm just going to... Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Janice. I'm so glad you're here. You you definitely can take advantage of the host benefits promotions, Margaret Ann. So you can um, you can still take advantage of that click, craft and collect promotion where if your order is three hundred dollars or more, you can get um, the extra thirty dollars in free product. OK, so I'm just going to go in with my stamp and seal. I'm going to try and go close to the edge here because you don't want your flaps kind of sticking up. I also tend to use my liquid glue for this, but I'm just gonna, because I have this handy, I'm just going to use my stamp and seal, okay? So I'm just taking that and I'm gonna line up this piece of designer series paper. You could use either side, you could use the floral as well. I love polka dots. So I'm just going to stick that down. And the last step is to just trim around. I'm gonna put the cards in view just so that you can see them. Um, and I'm just gonna trim around the flap. Okay, so I'm just using the shape of the envelope flap to cut off my designer series paper. And who wouldn't wanna receive this in the mail, right? Like it's just such a pretty way to receive mail. And I don't know about you, but I get tons of flower flyers um, not tons of flowers. That would be nice to get tons of flowers in the mail, but I get tons of flyers from real estate agents that say they're going to sell my house over asking, or they're getting, you know, all sorts of real estate flyers, home, home improvement flyers, bills, all the things. And so every time I get a handmade card in one of our Stampin' Up envelopes or, you know, any other envelope, it just makes my day. It's so pretty. So that's the card. I got crap ink everywhere i'll bring in the other one so that you can see so we've got two gorgeous cards really simple made in under an hour actually i probably could have made them in under 20 minutes um but yeah really simple cards using just a few products and i hope that you like it please do go ahead and um leverage these if they inspire you if you like them i would love to see your take on them if you do make them please do send me a picture or post it and um i think that's all for now so contact me if you have questions about the starter kit it really is the best deal right now if you're not already a demonstrator um definitely consider it take advantage of it because you're getting so much value for such a small price and uh if you have any questions about anything else i'm always here to help let me just flip the camera so i can say bye Okay, uh, where, where is the little camera thing? Okay, all right, so, oh, there's my hand. <laughs> oh, thanks everybody. I'm just gonna read through some of the comments. Janice, happy mail is always nice to receive. Been trying to send out some extra cards this past little while. Yes, I saw a, a photo of all the cards that you've been sending. Uh, thanks, Heather. I'm glad that you guys like the card. I'm so glad that you guys like them. Thank you, Janet. Thanks for sharing. Oh, 
You guys are amazing. Thanks for spending your Sunday morning with me or whatever time it is for you. Thanks for spending time with me. I hope that you guys all have a fantastic day. If you're enjoying the long weekend, have a great long weekend. And I'll be back here on Wednesday evening, 8.30 p.m. Eastern time uh, with some more crafting inspiration for you. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.